<sighs> what a day. Um, man. Today has been completely ridiculous, first off. Um, I try to upload these videos live time. Like, usually the day that I'm filming the video is typically the same day that the video will get uploaded, for the most part. Today is Tuesday, April the 11th. 2023 obviously um and the time right now is about 1 39 uh p.m so what i want to talk about and you're probably wondering so what happened today so i'll give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of a background on the situation so first off i've had this weird um no infection type thing and it's been stuck with me for like like over a year now and it's really frustrating and they've given me um i've probably been on six or seven different antibiotics for this freaking thing um and they even performed a surgery where they actually cut my thumb open on both sides and did a bone scrape to try to get the infection off of the bone. Um, and it's pretty much fully healed now. But as you can tell, it's still there. So, I don't know why it is so hard for a doctor, right? Someone who actually specializes in the medical field in a particular you know in a, in a particular like division you know so this guy is an orthopedic surgeon and i'm like why is this that hard for you to figure out what is what is so complicated about like figure out what's wrong with me <laughs> obviously and uh so what happened was it started as just a regular yellow, uh, like my fingernail started this weird yellowing, right? Um, and then eventually it just started hurting really bad and apparently ended up just turning into a freaking infection, right? But now on my other hand, you see this middle finger right here has also started this yellowing and it too has has now started having pain in it and i have been diagnosed with like every doctor every hospital that i go to tells me a completely different thing that it is so apparently nobody knows what the hell is wrong with me and they're just like guessing and just bouncing me around to the next doctor and the next doctor but nobody will actually confirm anything so today the only freaking orthopedic surgeon by the way who takes care source insurance um if any of you guys have care source insurance then you already know what's going on and you probably know how freaking difficult it gets trying to find doctors now or dentists or eyeglasses people that actually accept care source insurance. It has gotten so difficult. Really? Someone is banging off into the distance. Jesus. But um, if you if you have care source, then you already know the struggles of trying to locate someone who actually accepts the insurance. And the only freaking orthopedic surgeon that I could find that accepted it is all the way down in Lancaster, Ohio. So because of that, I have to take like 
a freaking 40 minute drive there and back anytime I need to visit this orthopedic. So I went down there today, this morning pretty much, um, at around like 11. So and I had an appointment with, an appointment with this guy. And I was like, hey, it's still here. It hasn't, it hasn't gone away. What's going on? So they're going to try something differently this time. This time they're going to, instead of giving me some antibiotics, um, which seem to not be doing anything, they're going to try to give me an antifungal. And I hope to God that this does something. I, why is it you're, prof you're a professional medical doctor? This is what you do. You can't figure out what's wrong with somebody? What the hell? So anyway, so I went and I did that appointment. They prescribed me some antifungal medication, yada, yada, yada. And I, uh, I left. Ended up leaving, right? The appointment was over. They sent the prescription script through. Um, so I left. So after that, I went to this place. Um, so... Uh, Long story short, I went into a staffing agency. A staffing agency is called Minute Minuteman Staffing in Grove City. It's like kind of right there off Broadway, near the Frisch's, uh across the street from like the Frisch's Big Boy and stuff. Um, it's where the old Surge Staffing Office used to be. So I go in there. I'd never been to Minuteman Staffing before. It's my first time, and long behold they actually have a mechanical automotive job available and i was like well that's freaking dope so i i go in i set up my whole employee profile because I'm, I'm brand new i do all my tax information yada 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 do the application the whole nine yards um and then they're like okay so let us know when you can get a pair of steel toe shoes and a pair of work pants, and then call us back, and we'll get you set up with a start date, right? Sounds good. That was like uh, two days ago, right? So, after I got out of the orthopedic appointment, I went straight to the automotive job for a tour, for a walkthrough. Not not through Minuteman, not through the staffing agency. I just ended up like, I called the place out of curiosity because, you know, I was thinking like, I should probably go over there and take a look in person and see what's going on, do a little bit of a tour, walk through, see if I like it or not before I jump on the gun and then get stuck with something that I don't like. So I call the shop. I was like, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be uh, temping through through Minuteman uh, staffing and I might be starting a position here and uh, he was very nice the owner of this place very nice very professional seemed very happy to give me the tour so I, I show up to this place I meet the owner inside he takes me to the back into the uh, like to the service bay area and is, you know, he's showing me around and everything. It looks like a, ni a pretty nice operation. Seems pretty cool, right? I like it. Uh, so we do a little bit of chatting back and forth. Nothing big. And I was like, okay, cool, man. Sounds good. And, you know, I, yeah, I think it's really going to work out. And so I, I leave. I, I leave the tire shop, automotive shop, what do you want to call it? it uh, it's called, uh, like, best Best One Tire or something weird like that. So I go through, I leave the front door and I go back out into my car that's in the parking lot and I, I sit down in my car and I look over at my phone and I have a missed call from the Minuteman staffing agency and I'm like that's interesting. So what could that why why would they be calling me? Because the last time that I spoke to the Minuteman staffing agency, you know, like a day or two ago, I told them that today on, uh, 
on Tuesday that I would be going to different department stores looking for a pair of steel toe boots and a pair of work pants. I already told them that, you know, when I had spoke to them the last time, right? So they already knew what I was doing today because I, I told them, you know what I mean? So I, you know, so I call them back to see what could this missed call be about. And I, sh dude, I shit you not, the woman that answered the phone, oh my God, she had the most passive, aggressive, rudest demeanor that I've gotten off of a person in a long time. And I'm like, you guys are, st this is a staffing, a staffing agent? What the heck? So she's like, hey, she's like, what are you doing? Where are you at? Are you good to start? Uh, I explained to her. I was like, I was like, we, we talked about this. I'm getting the clothes for the job so that I can start. And she's like, she's like, well, are you actually serious? Are you actually serious? Are you actually going to show up and not call off? And so I was like, why is she speaking to me this way? I've never worked for Minuteman Staffing. This is my very first assignment. And she's literally like speaking to me like, I, I, I don't know, like, like a piece of trash for the most part. And I was like, well, yeah, I was like, I'm getting my clothing, my outfit together so that I can do the job. You know what I mean? And she's like, oh, you don't sound very serious. She's like, she's like, I'll probably just end up giving it away to someone else. I'll probably just give it away to another person. She's like, I can't, I can't afford to wait and and hold this off much longer. And I'm like, like, did you not just hear what I said? I'm getting the clothes to do. Uh, I'm literally out here shopping for a pair of steel toe boots and work pants to start the job. Is that not clear enough? that I'm interested in the job. And uh, she, just, dude, she just went on a freaking rudeness, freaking rant, man. And, uh, oh, and then the funniest part, so she's just rambling about nonsense at this point. And then she's like, she's like, well, I don't know if you're serious. You don't seem very serious. She's like, if you change your mind, if you actually want the job, eh, call me back and let me know. She's like, have a good day. Bye. And hangs, just straight up hangs up on me. And I'm like, oh my God, this, this lady literally just hung up on me. A staffing agent. I'm like, well, what the heck, bro? And I'm like, this is my first experience with Minuteman staffing. And so far it's, it's not off to a good start. It's off to a pretty terrible start, actually. Um, what the hell is going on with these people? I have no idea. So I end up calling a different Minuteman staffing agency and I pretty much tell them everything that happened with this woman and, she, and the other locations like, oh my God, that's not acceptable. Like we do not speak to, to our customers that way and stuff like that. Um, she seemed very surprised and very shocked that the woman would, would would even act like that towards somebody. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. And they asked what she looked like. Asked if I knew what her name was. I didn't know what her name was. Um, but I gave her description. Apparently, she's the only um, older, skinnier, blonde woman that's even at that location. So pretty much narrows it down I guess to who to who it was um so pretty much this woman at this other staffing agency said that she's gonna have like one of the lead one of the lead people from Minuteman um he's gonna reach out to me and give me a call and kind of walk through everything that happened with her and in the meantime they said that they're going to uh switch her off of my profile and they're going to hand me off to a different agent 
and that I'll be working with someone else from here on out. So, I, 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 I don't know. I, I guess she's just a douche <laughs> or something. Um, so between all that weird random nonsense and the whole orthopedic crap, because I had to drive all the way down to Lancaster, and then I had to drive all the way to the to the tire shop, did my tour at the tire shop, and then I finally just made it back here to Grove City, and I'm sitting at the uh, the Myers right now in Grove City on 665, waiting for my uh, prescription from the orthopedic surgeon um, to get done so that I can pick that up. And uh, then I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna probably just head back to the house, I guess. Um, so that's pretty much what's going on there. And at this point, I don't even know if I have and they, they didn't really tell me. I don't even know if I have the uh, that automotive position or not. I'm like, okay, so what the hell is going on? Like, is she just going to randomly give it away to someone else for no reason? Uh, or should I still go ahead and get my boots and get my pants and my, get everything together? Like, am I still doing this? Am I still going to this job or or not? Like, what's going on? So I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how the rest of my day is even going to go today. I have no idea. So strange. And I'll tell you what. I've I've worked with a lot, a lot of staffing agencies. Staff Mark, Dawson's, Surge, um, a bunch of different ones. And I have never had a staffing agent ever speak to me that way. I mean, it was completely ridiculous. I've never been talked to in such a, gosh, in such an offensive manner before. Like, it was just absurd. It really was. So that's what's going on today so far. I'll let you know if uh, if my day gets any better. I have no idea. I don't know. But, um, alright guys, that's going to do it for this one for now. <sighs> it's a nice day otherwise. The weather's great. The sun's out. So I'm going to try to enjoy it for the most part. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to jump off here, guys. And uh, see you guys in the next video, I guess.